Okay, the book of Romans. Uh, uh, written by Apostle Paul. Uh, Clearance, uh, chapter 1. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus. Okay, it was probably, the best date is 57 and 58. 57 or 58 AD. 57 or 58 AD. Uh, place of writing, the best probability, Corinth. That is clear. Tignan natin sa chapter, ano yung purpose. Uh, chapter 15, please. Pakibasa on Romans 15. Romans 15. I think verse 21, going down. Or going down or going up? Pakibasa nga, please. Romans 15. Let me see first. Verse 22. Going to 20... Okay, 27. Pakilakas, please. Okay, thank you. That's good. You will see from that verses what Paul is saying. Open times I have been hindered to come to you. The church, the church or the believers, if there's a house, actually the, the, the Roman believers are considered house churches, not necessarily one congregation. Uh, to the saints in Rome, to the beloved in Rome. But it doesn't mean that they are one gathered church. They are house churches. Probably clear in chapter 16. And then, what Paul is saying to them, the responsibility of preaching the gospel here is already finished. I have no other place to preach the gospel. I don't want to uh, preach the, to those who have already received the gospel. Meron na silang foundation. Let the other who started the ministry in that place do it more. But what Paul is saying to the Corinthians, to the Romans, is that my plan is this. I will bring the financial offerings coming from the Macedonian churches and Achaian churches going to Jerusalem. Dadalhin niya yung special offering, financial offering to Jerusalem believers who during those days are the, the poor people, the poor churches in Jerusalem. Kasi dyan naglulukit yung mga ano eh. Laging iyan yung napagsasamantalahan ng lugar, Jerusalem. Kaya sila yung mahirap. The Greece, of course. Uh, active na noon ang Greece. Ano? Uh, at alam niya naman, even 400 years before Jesus Christ came, or 300 years, dyan na sila, ano, sila Plato, sila Aristotel. Aristotel, Plato. Uh, uh, of course, Socrates, Aristotel, uh, or, uh, Socrates, Plato, Aristotel. Tapos yung trading system dyan sa sa Corinth are very rich. So, ang mga negosyo dahil lagi dyan, textile, sa Philippians, mayaman yung, yung Macedonia. Uh, at dyan, alam nyo naman, dyan nagsimula ang Olympic noong paman, ano? Sa Macedonia, sa Athens. At dahil mayaman sila, yung mga may op special offering sila sa Jerusalem. What Paul is saying, okay, I will go to Jerusalem. I have been often hindered to visit you. But this time, I will go to Jerusalem. After that, I will after bringing that offering to Jerusalem people, I will go to Spain. But before going to Spain, I will visit you. That is the plan. And as recorded by the book of Acts. But there is no record that Paul was able to reach Spain. Kaya walang ministry na record sa Spain si Paul. Uh, kasi noon ang tingin nila sa mundo plat. Ang tingin talaga noon ni, ni Paul, dulo yung Spain. Kaya gusto niyang mapuntahan yung dulo. Kala nila pagkatas ng Spain, bangin na walang hanggan. Diba? Pag, 
uh, kasi they look uh, 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 they understand the world as if it is flat no it is not so hindi na nakarating si Paul sa Spain seemingly nung nag yung huling punta niya sa Jerusalem as a, sa Rome na execute siya na bilanggo siya at na execute at dahil noong mga time na yun si Nero galit sa Christianity dahil mukhang laging pinagmumula ng ng probol ang Christianity noon at saka ayaw ni Nero na may ang Christians may kinakilalang king na bukod pa sa kanya dahil si seemingly ang sabi niya ako ang king ako ang emperor bakit may kinikilala pang ibang king ang mga Christian at yun nga ay si Jesus. So, what is the purpose? To inform the believers about His coming visit, about His preparation for the mission work that He is targeting in Spain. Observing the letter, Paul is giving them also theological understanding concerning the major doctrines of Christian faith, such as human sinfulness, justification by faith, and many more. So, the, 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 purpose, the purpose of Romans uh, are, are clear. Uh, to inform the, the, the visit of Paul, and pra, pra, probably, the best probability, he will be asking for financial support sa kanyang mission trip sa, sa Spain. And then, why, if that is the purpose, why the, the book is heavy in terms of theological doctrines? Uh, because in, in Martin Luther's statement, the book of Romans is the Bible within the Bible. Complete eh. My creation, my Paul. Yung human sinfulness, that's my solution. The, the, the second Adam, which is Jesus Christ. Heavy, heavily, in terms of doctrine, mapaka-loaded ang book of Romans. If the only purpose of Paul, well, in, hindi, niya, hindi siya kasi ang nagtayo ng churches dun eh. Mukhang big, gusto niyang liwanagin ang ilang doctrines sa Romans. Okay. Dahil diyan meron, meron mga theological themes. Ano? The first theological themes of the book of Romans is the gospel of grace for the salvation of the sinners. That is clear in chapter 1 verse 16. Ano? Pakibasa nga? Uh, ano ba tayo? Basa. Sino ba yan? Romans 1 16 to 17. Please read. Sige, Sister Melay. And seventeen. Okay. The best probable theological theme, the number one probably is the gospel of grace that Paul is telling them. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for this is the power of God for the salvation of those who believe. Uh, may meaning pa yung from first to first. Mukhang he is talking about the first believer to the last. Mukhang si Abraham pa rin yung content ng kanyang mind. But, ang isang mahalagang theological team ng Book of Romans, the gospel of grace. Secondly, justification by by faith, o righteousness by faith, yung uh, maging ma-justified tayo by faith in the Son of God. Uh, kasi paano ba natin inuunawa na mapatawad tayo ng Diyos? Uh, we don't need to be, ano, to be nailed on the cross again. The, the death of Christ on the cross is enough for human sinfulness. Kaya nga, sabi niya sa gospel, it is finished. Nung nakapako siya sa cross, di ba? Isa sa last word niya doon ay, it is finished. What is finished? Alin ang tapos na daw? Sabi niya, it is finished. Tetelestai, sabi niya. The redemption. Humanity has been redeemed. And the redemption is over. Jesus Christ bought us on the cross as a ransom, as a payment. So that, that is the doctrine of justification by faith. We have been justified through faith in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ. So when Jesus Christ was nailed on the cross, as if the humanity is nailed on the cross. 
because he is the representative of humanity. So we receive justification. Ano justification? Pagpapawalang sala. Napawalang sala tayo ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kamatayan ni Kristo sa krus. The, the third is sinfulness of all human beings. Sino ba dito hindi makasalanan? O hindi man makasalanan, sino dito hindi nagkasala? Lahat tayo nagkasala, ano? Uh, by words, by, by thought, by deeds. At seemingly, within the Bible, mayroong tinatawag na original sin. Na, that is clear. Na when Adam committed sin, all humanity died. That's the first Adam. And in the doctrine of Paul sa Romans, the second Adam is Jesus Christ. The first Adam brought death. The second Adam brought life. So Jesus Christ, He brings life. While Adam, the fall of Adam brought death. The coming of Jesus, He brings life. So, yun ang kaibahan ng first at saka second Adam. So, humanity, ano, sinfulness ng all humanity. The doctrine of election and the sovereign act of God. Uh, that is a little bit uh, deeper doctrine. I don't need to explain it to you because we have to discuss up to the book of Revelation. Medyo malalim. Ano? And then the mystery and the power of the gospel of Christ. The life in the spirit. The role of the law. These are important theological doctrine in the book of Romans. Yung life in the spirit. Ano? Uh, we are guided by the spirit. Uh, because of Jesus Christ's death, those who believe has already crossed from the death to life. And we are expected to live according to the Spirit. A guided tayo ng banal na Espiritu. Ano, paano tayo mabubuhay? Paano tayo uh, magdidesisyon? Ang mahalaga din, yung ginagabayan tayo ng banal na Espiritu. Uh, sa Galatians, may konting liwanag dyan si Apostle Paul, yung issue ng fruit of the spirit ano uh, self control lo- love peace joy and patience uh, mahalaga yon ano uh, as as preached by Jesus and promised by Jesus in the gospel of John pag alis niya the holy spirit will come and lives on us well as a church and as individual that is important